when I when I uh, studying literature in Wangkok district, so I saw many many girls just walk walking by, you know, in the streets. So sometimes I get very you know curious about their 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 life. What's going on? So I follow them, uh, and finally I I find out they you know go up to the old buildings to run their business with some you know some kind of uh, people inside the building and in the some tea restaurant in the streets uh, in Wong Kong you will find out uh, it's the same girls or same people uh, just waiting in the restaurant so I, I think, oh, this is a good uh, images for me, <laughs> images, very interesting. So I start to, you know, to, to, to get research, to make research for them. And we call the mafias, you know, to be, you know, uh, find out the, the the real story and to ask them how do you take this girl uh, to be a prostitution you know and finally and, and when we, start, we, we went to to Shenzhen for asking some girls uh, because they all, you know, have experience, I mean, three months in Hong Kong because their visa is proper. As one road, one way, uh, two ways, one way go come, one way go back to China. And it's very interesting. You can saw many, many stories from the newspaper, from the magazine, and from their real life. So, okay. We made this movie, but we s we tell ourselves we tell ourselves we don't need to write down any script. We don't need to because you know we make at least two months research for them. Sometimes we go into the 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 tea restaurant as uh, sitting by there be beyond behind you know the table to make some. Uh, so snail uh, camera to to still sh shooting what's going on how's they are talking what kind of uh, subject they you know talk and how to spend the time in the restaurant because they are waiting calling waiting order if there's order they will okay write down the address and go go and the, the one kid will take them together to, to the location, you know. It's very interesting. And then, okay, this is a, like a Hong Kong's life. And when we're making these movies, uh, so Dream Dream is a, uh, there's a two parts. One part is just living Hong Kong. The second part is when we go back to their hometown, what's feeling, what's their, you know, problem, what's their future, you know. So when we this make a decision so we have to make certain, uh, two parts in this movie because one part if you you just use one part in the whole movie is like uh, there's not any um, an energetic you know this is uh, like uh, very common movies so that's why I have to go to Beijing for casting and for looking new ideas. In Beijing, I asked many, I, you know, many, many new talents in the, in the school or somewhere. It's very strange. They, they are all by the uh, school, all by the professional uh, drama school, you know. but 
actually is so beautiful. Our vow is beautiful. I don't like that. You know. And when I get this point of this, so I met uh, uh, Chin Hai Lu in my friend's office. And my office recommend her to me, and then I asked her about their real life. She was, uh, you know, she learned the Chinese opera already 10 years. I, I mean, 9 years or 10 years around. It's a Chinese opera, you know, it's a Jing Ju. So I'm very curious about their childhood life. Okay, they told, she told me about their childhood. And finally, I asked him, asked her, can I go, go to your country? to your country with you immediately. She said, yes, can go, okay. We go back to uh, their country. You know, that time is, uh, they didn't go back already a few years. So when we arrived their country, they, you know, get a phone to his uh, classmate and their friends. Oh, it's an amazing moment. So I am a, you know, I'm an outsider. So I see their real feeling in the in that moment. So I, I I suddenly I think, okay, this is a, the second part when a girl go back to their hometown. Because many people admire her can go into the opera school in Beijing. This is their very happy event uh, events in the country, in a small country or a small city. That's why I create the second part when they go back to hometown. Comparing like two movies combined together. You know, in the in the in the modern city Hong Kong, many people, you know, working so fast, working so fast <laughs> making jump from from early until tonight. In the home time, it's very relaxing. Very relaxing. The life too slowly. So that's why I, I when I ask myself how, what kind of treatment you, you, you made these movies. So that's why you see in the movies, the first part is quite like a document, docudrama, you know. Because it's very difficult to shooting in one go place anyway, because the mafia controlled place in these places, and you cannot, you know, to expose your camera. In China, you don't need to bury it, but you have to show up how people acting so natural, because they are all you know, professional people. That's why. I I I I made this movie so it's not not so smooth, but it's okay. When I submit to to uh, uh Ching Hai Lu to be my actress in the movies, I started to 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 order her to uh, learn the Chi uh, Cantonese, but. That time she hadn't time to to learn Cantonese, so I send the the tape Cantonese tape to to him to her, and when night when two thousand early thousand yeah two thousand, so when he has a long vacation, so okay come go to Hong Kong. We have to start because we spent a lot of time already. When I finished literature, so he come. The first day, I, 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 I remember the first day we, when she arrived in Shenzhen, she, I brought him to the, the village in, in Shenzhen, uh, near the city. It's a, in Hong Kong, it's a quite famous. We call it this mystery village. You know. so, it's like a tourist. We <laughs> we spend a uh, few few nights in the in the same gym to show her 
what is the real life? What is the prostitution's life? So, and we buy the 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 the, the dress, you know, as a very Chinese style in it, anyway. And to look more, and you you, so when you see it in the middle of this this movies, there's a one scene in the. The Qinghai Lu's how to uh, uh, change their hairstyle, hairstyle using the newspaper to make their hair, uh, her hair is uh, very interesting. This is a <laughs> Chinese, uh, uh, you know, style. I don't know how they use the newspaper, but it's uh, quite interesting. And. We spent a few days there, and then we go back to Hong Kong. I bring her to the Shanghai streets, and Portland streets, uh, Wong Kok district. You know, even we stay at the tea restaurant for you know, searching some uh, different uh, girls and how to run their business, how to anyway. We want to copy their lifestyle. So after that, uh, okay, we 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 ha can we start? <laughs> can we start? Can we start? Okay, can go. So I'm not sure what day is uh, our uh, first day. I don't know, but you know, around two thousand. You said okay. We start to shooting days. We're just using two weeks in Hong Kong shooting. And after two weeks and she will go back to China for you know, to school, continue the school. And the next year, night two thousand one maybe, when China's beginning to snowing in the north China no. So okay, we call it. We can Go to your country again to for shooting Chinese part. Okay, go. We just use uh one a huge rain, and around including the driver, around thirteen people. We use two weeks in North China to finish the second part. Two weeks. But these two weeks is quite happy because we have no any pressure. We just say, okay, uh, take a relax. Huh? Don't give <laughs> any, <laughs> any problem to us. I mean, it's like a family cool, you know, just making a documentary or something like that. Our schedule is quite smoothly. And two weeks, so we finished all the movies. So that's why I I can say during to is my very very under control movie <laughs> under control. You know, if just saw the movie you see the movie this just a a a, a prostitution story, not any, you know, energetic. Mm, sometimes it's quite sadness. So I don't want to make sadness movie. Even the original <laughs> story is a sadness. So that's why I take out my old memories. This a during the taste, because on my original life, I really like to eat during, because my mother <laughs> believe. Drilling is a good fruit for my health because there's a many many good material, good you know, uh, for for my body for my health anyway. So the drilling season in a hot season, they will buy the drilling every day and push me to eat. <sighs> Sometimes I actually. I really, you know, hate hate to eat every day, but sometimes you have to pretend to 
love your parents to give them a peace to peace them <laughs> so you have to eat it but actually this is good fruit so in in Asia uh, South Asia they say this is the king of the fruits in in Thailand even in even in China many many family or many many people doesn't see this kind of fruit in in their lives <laughs> I, I don't know the Western society but in China n n not yet not yet so when they <laughs> first time to see this fruit it's a very interesting <laughs> very interesting <laughs> you know it's like a born you know sometimes you don't need to explain their feelings you just shoot it and put it show it to them and then the feeling is a real, very real uh, attitude. But this is a very uh, 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 strange way. Some, if you like it, you will like this food very much. But if you hate it, the, the smell is too terrible. You will hate it very, very much. This why, anyway, this why I, I use this uh, uh, sim, uh, food symbol, put it in a the, in the movie, and then you can use them to be a weapon, you know, you can hit the people, <laughs> you can uh, chop it uh, to many pieces to, to, you know, taste the smell, you know, anyway. And when I use this uh, subject matter to relate to the story in the movies, I think, okay, this story, if we make Finish can finish these movies. Maybe this is a good movie and very very light, touching. A uh, comedy touching, humorous touching, and reality is touching, and emotions touching. So, okay, we do it. <laughs> so that's why I making during during. I remember when I uh, made uh, long uh, researching in in the beginning uh, during during I asked uh, over one hundred girls in the in Shenzhen in Hong Kong even in Beijing in somewhere and you know one hundred people one hundred stories it's very interesting <laughs> so maybe you you ask me why. Now they use this uh, uh, this kind of uh, subject matter to uh, making movies or making one charities as a free movies together. You know. I don't know uh, 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 what's uh, uh, thinking in in, in o uh, Western audience, but in, in in Asia, in Hong Kong or China, you know. Especially in China, when China developed very well, we found very well. They opened their mind to, you know, to the world. The prostitution industry is very very fast. Because nowadays, I mean, the girl in China is quite aggressive to be, uh, you know, how to get survival. You know, living in China is not easy now because the system, the structure system already changed. So if you are not a, 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 a good job in the city, you can, I mean, it's quite difficult to, to earn money for your life standard because the life standard already, you know, uh, very high in, in China. So their mind they already changed. In China, I mean the value uh, attitude already changed. So many many Chinese go become a prostitution. In during during, you will find out. I never asked them why they change there. Why they become a prostitution? Actually, you don't need to ask that because for themselves, position, they don't make any guilty about this. They just know earn money is important. This is Chinese uh, traditional 
uh, concept. If we can get survival, we can do anything, <laughs> something like that. So, 100 person, 100 story. And make me, you know, has the other uh, inspiration. Okay, if I make during during, not enough, you know, 100 people story, just make one, not enough. And for Asia, it's, it's actually this is quite, you know, new industry from the 80s, you know, when China get open to the world. Okay, Hollywood Hong Kong is the, my second trilogy. Because during the rain, it's uh, described one girl living in Hong Kong. After, she, when she returned to China, she has faced their future. But in their hometown, their friends asked her, why did you come back again? If you living in the city, you can earn money easily. But in our hometown, working is, you know, uh, it's a jobless, it's a, you know, more in, in the countries. You cannot earn the money easily. So that's uh, talking about hometown story. Actually, the, the subject matter is talking prostitution. The Hollywood Hong Kong is the it is not the same. It's talking in the same way. It's talking about one Chinese girl, how to live in Hong Kong. This girl is quite smart, and they can easily to to earn the money, and then she has a good vision. I want to uh, go to stage or some Western society for. Their, uh, his, uh, her education to keep continue her education. The, you know, the attitude is, is completely different. Someone is uh, very natural, just for life is okay. But someone is very high standard. <laughs> I want to get the high, you know, education maybe. This this real case in the in the researching in my researching, and the first part. Nowadays, I, I doesn't finish there. Uh, uh, no, we, we, I just create a story. Uh, the original plans, I, I want to go back, uh, uh, go to Russia for shooting. I want to uh, relate one Russian girl and a Chinese girl together to 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 take out some you know emotion feeling or a reality story in the movies. You know, in nowadays, even you living in Asia, I don't know uh, how's a uh, Euro house uh, stage, but in Asia, even in Busan, Taiwan, North China, South China, Hong Kong, Macau, you can easily to see Chinese girl and Russian girl. <laughs> this is very interesting. So I think, for me, this different countries go from their own country. But their country which is uh, co ex-communism, communist, communism society. This make me interesting. I think, okay, I know how to making this movie. But in the middle of this year, I, I went to to Moscow Film Festival for jewelry. In the meantime, I, 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 I get a research in the location in, in um, Moscow. But one thing is quite, you know, difficult to control. If I spend a lot of money in a small part in Moscow, I think mm, my cost cannot afford that. So maybe my story will be you know, move back to Hong Kong or some or China. I don't know now, <coughs> but I think this is a very interesting story, you know, in the third part. So I hope to finish uh, next year. Yeah.